the search for balance between the estuary and the 10 million people who surround it continues. The San Francisco Bay Area is one of the world's most dynamic economic centers. It also is one of the world's favorite tourist destinations. The Bay itself remains essential to commerce with most of the region's transportation infrastructure, its highways, its railroads, its airports, its seaports, ringing the estuary's edge. In the midst of all this activity, the Bay remains a refuge of open space in the heart of the fifth largest urban area in the United States, as essential for recreation and wildlife as it is for industry. When you're kayaking out on those sloughs and you're paddling parts of San Francisco Bay, when you're walking along San Francisco Bay, when you're windsurfing San Francisco Bay and sailing on the bay, when you're swimming in San Francisco Bay, when you're fishing and you're actually catching a live fish, you really get it that this is the body of water that defines this region. This is our quality of life. The future of San Francisco Bay is undetermined. Climate change, sea level rise, and the pressures of an ever-growing population will bring ever greater stress to the estuary. Climate change is having a real-time effect. Spring is coming earlier in this system. That is, the snowmelt pulse that comes out of the Sierra Nevada is progressively coming earlier and earlier. Winter runoff events, the big floods, are coming more often and they're bigger. 100 years from now, San Francisco Bay will remain. The question is, what will it be? Despite decades of progress, San Francisco Bay remains a fragile ecosystem, still vulnerable to sudden, unpredictable events. From the air, the impact of Wednesday's tanker crash and subsequent oil spill in San Francisco Bay